How's it going, everybody? Thanks for tuning in. It is Friday, June 30th, 2017. As I do every Friday nights, I do new games. Alright, so, welcome to Twitch.tv with me, One Punk Army. Thanks for tuning in. Every Friday, I do new games that recently came out for the PC. Today, we're going to do a visual novel edition of New Game Fridays. Visual novels have been pretty big on Steam for the past few months, so I picked out a, a handful of the ones that came out recently. So we're going to check out up to three of them tonight. Let me see. Depending on how the first one goes, Symphonic Rain, we might play only this or we might play a few more. So let's see what I can do. keep getting a message that says encoding overload so I need to watch my stream on another screen I'm gonna turn the music down a bit here keep the rear keep that rear message display speed pretty fast transparency
Alright, and I'll just watch my stream on another screen just to see what's going on. Okay, sit. I don't think I can data load because I don't have anything, of course, so let's start a new game. Letters from Airy always start it like that. こっちは相変わらずのいい天気です。少しだけでもそっちに分けてあげたいくらいに。そんな些細な天気のことでさえ。クリスと遠く離れていることを思い出さずにはいられないなんて辛いことだよね。もう3年近くこんな生活が続いたんだって。最近ふと思い起こしてみました。この月が終わって年が明けて。あと2ヶ月もしたらやっと戻ってこられるんだよね。そのことに気づいてから少しだけ時間が経つのが遅くなった気がします。I don't understand why I'm lagging on the stream so much. 別れてすぐも辛かったけどこういう時間もちょっと辛いかな。そして その日が来るのが少し怖いくらい。そんなのおかしいかな。今年の終わりもいつもみたいに一緒に過ごせたらと思うけど、発表のこともあるからまだどうなるかわからないよね。それに私の方もまだちょっとわからないんだ。ナタール前の手紙くらいで細かいことを報告するからクリスもお願いしますそうそう卒業するために発表しないといけない演奏のパートナーがまだ決まってないってトルタからの手紙に書いてあったよ私にはよくわからないけどすごく心配してるみたい
already six o'clock. Night was closing in. That being said, the scene outside didn't change dramatically. The already gloomy skies just got a little darker. The rain pattered endlessly against the window. Her name is P. Horny. With her light wings gently cutting the air, Horny floated from the windowsill to the desk. Then she gently flitted about 10 centimeters above its surface. The wings on her back moved restlessly, but it didn't look like they were what made her float. She was a mysterious creature, to be sure. Yeah, I know. The weekly exchange of letters with Aerie always went like this. I didn't have much free time. I was just sticking faithfully to it because Aerie said I want to read your replies right away. On the other hand, her letters didn't always arrive right away. When I write a letter and put it to the, in the post the next day, it arrives two days later. Since it took four days for a round trip, there was no reason to hurry. But the bakery she worked at was popular in our hometown and successful enough that people would come from far away to shop there on the weekends. She was still in training and had to work hard. She barely had time to sleep. Ari would read my letter that arrived in the middle of the week and write her reply on Friday, her only day off. That letter would get to me on Sunday afternoon. The post office was closed that day, so I could take my time writing a reply. Just as Ari said in her letter, this routine had been going on for almost three years. Yeah, yeah. I finished writing the letter quickly, put it in an envelope, and sealed it. Then finally I turned back to Forney. Yeah. Forney said this as if half bored and fluttered her wings gently. I pulled the foretell out of the case I carried around school and set it up in the corner. If you would please. Forney reached out to me and asked me as she always did. Just as she asked, I let Forney onto the palm of my hand and put her on top of the foretell. Forney's wings didn't work so well, so she was unable to fly any higher than her current position. Apparently, she could glide from high to low for a long distance, but getting anywhere far at the same height was impossible. Now then. Then I brought the chair over to Fortel and tried lightly striking a chord. Almost everyone living in my apartment building was a student at the music school like me. It was a mutual understanding, so I could play without worrying so much, even at night. Shall we begin? Forney moved her wings lightly while doing her vocal exercises and turned to look at me. I lightly tensed my fingers, touching the foretell, and gathered my concentration for the opening notes. Magic. It's required to play this instrument, and while there are differences in strength, it's a power said to have been held by many people long ago. That power suddenly disappeared, instead replaced by an equally mysterious power called electricity spreading throughout the world. Foretell is a glimmer of evidence that magic has existed in the past. Yeah. I pictured the notes. Then I myself became one of the notes making up the chords. I existed inside the music. We already saw it. Sorry, I had to skip it. <laughs> And now my stream is lagging like crazy. Uh, I can't change the options yet. I wanted to see if I could change the graphics. Because I don't know why my CPU can't handle this. 
The final note faded out and the room was enveloped in silence. Holding our breath, neither one of us moved for a while. But that silence was soon drowned out by the sound of the rain. <sighs> Kimochi. Uh, let me try this. Yeah, that didn't help. But okay. Leaning on the music stand, Forney sighed lazily with her eyes closed. As she sang, she also became part of the music. When I first met Forney, she called herself the musical fairy, and I knew better than anyone that wasn't a lie. I don't actually remember it very well. I just had to move to this apartment and she was and was pretty busy. Shoot. She simply said that she was a musical fairy that lived here and we just kind of ended up together. At first I thought I was hallucinating, but she was all right, real all right. But when Forney saw my foretell and said the words, let's perform an ensemble, it didn't matter anymore. That's how amazing her voice was, and it still hasn't changed. The one unfortunate thing was that I was the only person who could see or hear her. Her voice was angelic. I know that sounds trite, but I don't know any other, any other way to describe her voice. Forney opened her eyes as if shaking off the last of the reverberations. I was also deep in thought, but came back to my senses and took my fingers off the keys of the foretell. Oh, is it that time already? Time passed quickly when I played together with Forney. It must have been because I was concentrating so hard, but when I snapped out of it, I felt tired. So I didn't do ensembles with Forney every day. It was always on Sundays. I'd finish reading Ari's letter, write a reply, and Forney would always say the same thing. Hurry up and let's do an ensemble. Yeah, yeah, I know. Her tiny body and childish mouth. Despite how she looked, Forney always tried to mother me. I won't say it suited her, but she was pretty adorable and it was never unpleasant when she talked to me like that. Oh, my camera bugged out. Fix that. Having a lot of technical difficulties today. Fix the focus. There we go. Yeah, technical difficulties up the wazoo. Give me a second. I gotta change my settings. Blah. Just gonna, I'm just gonna have to deal with these settings for now. All right. That might be why she reminded me a bit of Ari's little sister, my other childhood friend, Torta. Yeah, night. I even got used to Forney disappearing like that. She was, she really was a strange creature, but somewhere in my heart was the desire to accept her for what she was. Thanks to her, I never felt lonely or isolated since I arrived in this town. Eh, hold on. Alright. Good night. There was a soft sound of flowing water, the sound of rain hitting the gutter. The light that reached me through the thick, thin clouds was always a little subdued. I made 
to get up and turn on the light, but the shadow next to the desk stopped me. Ohayou. Morning. Doesn't everyone look like a child when they sleep? Uh, give me a second. Let me see if I can do something about my CPU. Oh. That explains why. My power options were set to balanced, not high performance. So, hopefully, that affects. Let me check my CPU. Curse you, Windows 10, for changing settings without my permission. I gotta check a lot of my settings then. Oops. I picked Forney up and moved her with her fi to her favorite spot by the window. Forney sat there, swinging her legs as if she was were bored. What time is it? I picked up the clock. I picked up the clock off the table and turned off the alarm. Maybe it's because I am dreaming what Forney will say or do, but I always wake up before the alarm goes off. I always get plenty of sleep. I turned on the alarm just to be absolutely sure. Well, I guess I'll get dressed. I put it in my, into my bag yesterday. Forney nodded with satisfaction and looked back at the rain to signify that she had finished talking. God, my stream's moving at like two frames per second. The same as always. The same as always. I got dressed quickly and headed for the door. I wasn't in the habit of eating breakfast myself and Forney didn't eat period. So I'd washed my face and gotten dressed. So once I'd washed my face and gotten dressed, I was ready to leave. The first thing I heard when I got outside was the rain hitting the cobblestone street. Oh god. I don't think my computer can handle this right now. It wasn't a loud noise, but... It it was ingrained deep in my eardrums, asserting itself like dirt that wouldn't go away. City of Rain. People new to this city always think first of those words. There was certainly a time when people called it that and the origin of the city's name comes from there as well. But nowadays, it was the city of music. That fact was recognized by the people living here, and they were proud of it.
Yeah. Hold on. Am I, I can tell that my stream is moving like terribly right now. Let me check all of my settings. Oh, the overclock settings of my CPU are off. That's weird. Okay. Uh, I guess I need to fix my CPU overclock later. All right, the lines of shops were part of the legacy as well. I could escape the rain under their roofs and shake off the droplets covering me. I shook my head lightly and brushed the droplets off my clothes. I'd gotten used to the city enough to be able to do this casually. The rain fell year round and probably because the residents were so used to it, nobody used an umbrella. It took a week for my letter to reach her and for her to send me words of meaning in return. I found myself imagining how I would spend that time. I was too used to this time. I was too used to this city. But I couldn't get rid of a strange feeling. Like this wasn't where I belonged. It was a strange feeling. I thought if Forney, Torta, and the letters from Airy weren't there, maybe time would stop. Sounds foolish, I know. The voice of the stranger passing me from behind shook me out of my reverie and I turned around. Oh right, I'm sorry. He thanked me, put his letter in the mailbox and walked away. How long had I been lost in thought? Torda and Forney had often told me it was a habit of mine to suddenly zone out. Couldn't get too wet and catch a cold. I decided not to think anymore and started walking unhurriedly down the road to the school. I arrived on campus a little after 10 o'clock. I still had 20 minutes before my private lesson, so I moved leisurely to the first hall. There weren't many students who came to school at this time, but a few did. You wouldn't see any first or second year students who had classes in the morning, but when you see, become a third year, most of your lessons were private lessons and your mornings started later. Lessons began in the morning, but students quickly took up all of the afternoon classes, so morning classes were mostly open. However, if you went to with the second round of classes that started at 10.30, it wasn't too hard to wake up in the morning. I didn't like crowds, so I was happy to have a morning lesson. Beyond the hallways of lecture rooms, it took several minutes to walk to the classrooms for private lessons. As might be expected from one of the best music schools in the country, it was on a fairly grand scale. Breathing the crisp and slightly humid morning air, I headed toward my classroom. With the language studies, vocal lessons, and the general studies that first years had to take, I could sense quite a few people near the lecture rooms. But all the private lessons, room, all the private lesson rooms were soundproofed, so it was really quiet. After lunch was when things were the liveliest. But I liked the morning air. The layers of compressed air seemed to press against my eardrums, and I felt the subtle faraway sound from the rain on my skin. Excuse me. I arrived 15 minutes before the allotted time of 10.30, and it looked like Miss Cordell wasn't there yet. She always came 10 minutes before the lesson, so I often arrived before, before her. Okay then. I pulled out a chair, got the Fortel out of its case, and began setting it up. It was already a Fortel setup, but I preferred my own. I focused on my fingers and lightly played a sound. I played the Fortel like that for a few minutes, then heard the door behind me. Ohayo. Good morning. 
turned around and returned her greeting. Actually, I've already finished. Ms. Cordell looked at the clock on the wall and looked to me for confirmation. Yes, well... You mean a partner? Yes, about that. There's still a few months left. Oh. Is it that soon? So you got on you to know a stetana. So they hold it on. If you know that, why did even bother asking? Koremo Shigoto da Karana. So they Sagaste or Irunoka. Yes, I suppose I Usodana. Jumping to conclusions like that was just like Miss Cordell. Why do you say that? Then don't ask. That smug look. Saying this, she smiled slightly and mussed up my hair. I liked it when Miss Cordell did this from time to time. When it came to music, she showed no compromise and treated students strictly, but that wasn't all there was to her. Many students thought she was just a strict teacher, though. In truth, even I thought that until I had private lessons with her. Yeah, you hit the mark. Yeah, that's the problem. I just laughed it off to escape the moment. I had a feeling that the professor was overestimating me. Among the many teachers at the school, Miss Cordell had the most faith in my abilities. But I didn't really see it in myself. The Fortel is an instrument that requires magic, and its tone depends heavily on the one playing it. It's not like a piano or a cembalo that are played simply by pressing the keys. Of course, the strength of touch and manipulation of the pedals changed sound, but that can't be compared to the individual differences of the Fortel. You could say that the difference in sound is comparatively close to the, a wind instrument, but it seems closest to the human voice. And the sounds that I played were held in high regard by Miss Cordell. It's based on a lot of intuition, and it's not something you are really aware of when playing. I thought I was just normal, but she was telling me I was wrong. Huh? Oh, sorry. Sorry, Yes, ma'am. Answered her and took the sheet music out of my back to set it on a stand. Miss Cordell peeked at it over my shoulder. Yes, it will depend on my partner, but for now, this is really the only one in consideration. Oh, what do I do now? Do I need a controller for this part? Oh no. Oh, 
Oh, crap. Crap. Oh, it's so bad. Oh, so bad. I don't know how to hit that plus. Oh, wrong button. That was so bad. Continue, yes. Do I have to do it again? I have to do it again because I can't hit that plus button. How do I hit the plus? Oh, so bad. <laughs> Wrong button. So bad. I how do I hit that plus?
I fa I think I failed again. Uh, can I just hit no? Did I just game over? Oh. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I thought I just gamed over. Can I just, like, save right now? And not deal with that? Okay. So that's going to be it for Symphonic Rain. I'm going to end it right there. Uh, hmm. I'm curious about the story, but the whole rhythm part... I'm I'm bad at rhythm game rhythm games, so uh I guess if you like rhythm games and visual novels, check out Symphonic Rain. But for me, uh I'm not sure if I wanna keep this. I like I'm interested in the story. But I don't wanna play the rhythm part because I don't have the coordination for that. And apparently you have to press a plus button some somewhere in the rhythm section. So I gotta figure that out, and let me see if I can change the controls. No, I can't. Autoplay. Lyric display, animation. No, I can't change it to use a controller. I have to use a keyboard. So, that's gonna be it for Symphonic Rain. Let's go ahead and move on to the next visual novel we have today. That's going to be a game called Material Girl. There we go. Eh, I didn't attach that properly. Yeah, welcome to Material Girl. <laughs> I don't know if I'm allowed to stream this. Uh, I do have a kill switch. Let me test that out right now. I was dash. Can I use a controller? Oh, no, no, no. Uh, I think I can use a controller, but then I won't be able to have the kill switch in case I can't stream this. Let me test that kill switch. Yep, I got a kill switch. But then again, that also kills my webcam, so let me fix that. Okay, so what's going on with my internet? Wow, I just started lagging heavily. Alright, anyways, if something goes wrong, I have a kill switch. In case I can't show this game on stream. Start the game with the prologue. Oh, I've got a bad feeling about this already. It casts shadow over her comfortable and cozy so literary, literary life. The electric charge must be paid within five days. I have to spend 70,000 to 80,000 yen in my living cost each month at this crucial moment. Sakura blankly stares at the deposit book in her hands balanced remaining unchanged. <sighs> On the bright side, this game doesn't use as much CPU as Symphonic Rain. But how long on earth would a period of time be? To my knowledge, such period of time would be half a year or one year. <sighs> ah, 
Unexpectedly, they will stay there for a long time. Although some unexpected things, although some unexpected things take happen from time to time. Firstly, I have to pay the electric charge, 15,000 yen within five days, and then I have to pay the house rent. And off she goes. Oh. I shall go to school in a hurry. I feel I fear I will be late. Oh, I have to hold X to slow down. That's my uh menu. I have a loot in this meter. Clothing. I just emptied her clothes. What's her status? She's a virgin. <laughs> I don't know if I'm allowed to do this. Lewdness, popularity. Um, I don't think I can show this on stream. I get a bad feeling about this. She a hoe? Memory. This is really pseudo awful. Luckily, I was not touched. Hey, hey, forgive me. I should apologize to the teacher. Okay, you can do it now. Uh, you are qualified. Go away in a hurry. Hey, I now I am performing routine inspection of clothes. Come here, girl student. Oh, oh, I cannot stream this. I want to see how far I can get before somebody says, Nope, you're done. No, teacher, don't touch my buttocks. Don't move, I am measuring your skirt. <laughs> woo woo. <laughs> or life guide teacher, pseudo is too excessive. Your skirt is somewhat short, isn't it? Seeming seemingly Your skirt's qualified. Yeah, like that'll work. Nope. Caught. Time to get groped. My hand is on the kill switch, in case I can't show this. Let me inspect your appearance. Uh-oh. Definitely can't show that. 
cannot show that on stream. I did not expect them to show something like this so early in this visual novel. Okay, it's back. Resist or give up? It's... Uh, what if I give up? Cannot show that. Why can't I switch? My kill switch is not working. Does my kill does my kill switch only work once? <laughs> blah blah blah. Is it game over? This is basically game over. This scene is really long. Why is this scene so long? And it keeps zooming in. Okay, let me test that kill switch. There we go, it does work. But it just killed my cam again. I really just need to not play this game anymore. Visual novel, whatever. I can't even follow the, the plot anymore because of the bad grammar. I've already forgotten what she just said. Can't go that way. Poor school girl, money making place. The lewdness meter. Is that Asahiko? What is he doing here? That girl's also over there. Is this a scene of confession? Asahiko, that guy's handsome Mo over his family is very rich. Each day the advertisement of Asahiko's family company can be seen on TV. In addition, he is very smart. However... Sakura 3. My internet! What happened to my internet? I just started lagging. That upperclassman Asahiko. What can I do for you? I love you. Would you like to be my boyfriend? Oh no, were we playing Yandere Simulator? Thanks, you love me. I am very happy. <laughs> Could you please wear the stockings with garter belt? Try it on. Alright. Gonna kill Switch if this is bad. Asahiko has such a favorite hobby. Let me have a look. This stockings with garter B belt relatively fit your style. Nobody knows how many the stockings. Nobody knows how many of the stockings with garter belt this guy has. Unbelievable. 
I, I, that upperclassman, Isahiko. I especially love the girl who wears stockings with garter belt. Therefore, if you love me, wear stockings with garter belt for me. I see. So great. Most of girls have refused him when he asked them to wear the stockings with garter belt. This girl's so brave, so great. However, this has proved her love to Asahiko. As for me, if I love a man really, would I follow his words? Although I couldn't imagine image me like that. Wait a moment. Is it okay? Oh, oh. Absolutely perfect. Uh, uh, um, thank you, upperclassman Asahiko. That girl looks delighted, but that's not all. So... Could I take... <laughs> Please don't show anything that could get me banned. I taste... Yeah, taste O. It is necessary to have a taste. E. Okay, good. Psycho. Surely it is not feasible, is it? Let a boy student lick the stockings with garter belt. So disgusting. Keep away from me, Psycho. Why can't everybody know the beauty of stockings with garter belt? This guy has forgotten the lesson anyway, I am indifferent to him. However, it is really regrettable if he is normal somewhat. He's sure he is sure to be popular. It is not necessary to hide me. Go. Oh ah, Sakura. Your legs still look bright as usual. Sakura, you must fit this stockings with garter belt. Gets the stockings with garter belt. That you give me the stocking. I really feel embarrassed. Uh, please don't. You are absolutely a girl student who fits this stocking to a garter belt. You do believe my judgment. Is this like translated from Chinese or something? This guy totally doesn't listen to others. I hope that someday you are able to wear this stockings before me. At that time, be sure to let me taste. So disgusting. How could I let you lick? Ah ha ha ha. Disgusting. This guy's head is flooded. However, this should be sold out with a nice price. She wants to sell it for money. Dude, I'm, I, I can't play this anymore. With the grammar problems, all the grammar errors, and the pictures that they're showing, which probably are going to get worse if I keep playing this game. Nah, this... Refund. Instant refund. Close the game. I'm out of here. Okay. Uh, next. The next visual novel we have tonight is Libra of the Vampire Princess. Yes, that is my background. Caution, you take full responsibility for all the laws of the state. Wait, did it just say something about you have to be 18 and over? Uh-oh, I don't think I can show this either. Yeah, this is a 18 and over game. Which means I cannot, I cannot scream this. Oh, this song's in English. Oh, 
so weird that this is in English. That's an interesting, interesting title, title theme. But uh, oh, I can't even use a controller. Okay, so. But I don't know if I can stream this because it said this game's intended for 18 plus. Uh. No, I, I'm not gonna risk it. I can't stream this. I'm just the fact that it said this game is intended for audiences 18 plus. I'm like, no, I can't show this. So, unfortunately, I cannot provide a verdict or my thoughts about this visual novel. So that means I'm gonna have to end the stream there because these are only three visual novels I prepared for tonight. So, to sum it up, we have a. Uh, First game we play tonight, Symphonic Rain, is a visual novel combined with a rhythm game. Uh, I'm gonna hang on to it. Actually, I'm not good at rhythm games, but I'm really interested in the story, so I'm gonna keep that. Second game we play tonight was Material Girl. Do not buy that game. Do not touch this game with a. Do not touch that visual novel with a ten-yard pole or whatever. They, whatever the quote is, avoid it completely. Uh, Libra of the Vampire Princess. I can't show it on stream because it's an 18 plus game. Go ahead and check it out. Steam has a very lenient re refund policy, so play it for a little bit. If you like it, keep it. If you don't, return it. I'm interested to play this game, so I will check this out off stream. And if I can, I will probably record a video with uh, highlights of the visual novel and then post it on one of my channels. So if you want to see that highlight, it's most likely going to be on my Twitch feed later on once I play a little bit of this game, which is twitch.tv slash onepunkarmy. Please follow me there. I need some followers. Not going to lie. Uh, and if you want to know about my upcoming streams and schedule, follow me on twitter.com slash onepunkarmy. Alright, I'm going to click end. That's going to be it for this video. Thanks for watching. See you guys again next time.